Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add apps to your newsstand on your iOS devices. This um, is an iPhone 3GS running iOS 6. So, now you may be familiar with the newsstand, it was introduced um, in iOS 5 and it's still here in iOS 6. It's where you can uh, download magazines and crap, um, but I don't use it and I know quite a few other people don't use it. Um, if you don't use it, then um, this is the video for you. You can make use of your newsstand. So, um, to add apps to your newsstand, you're going to want to put the newsstand icon on the second page. And all you have to do now is you have to do the same trick that I showed you in the adding the respring button video, which um, if you want to view that, just click on the screen now or click on the um, link in the description. So um, what you're going to want to do is in that video before, same thing, um, you're going to press the home button and then just um, after you've pressed it as quickly as possible press and hold on the app that you want to be moved into the newsstand it will fly all the way to the first page and you'll have to as quickly as possible slide to the next page then I'll show you what to do after that so home button press hold swipe in it doesn't always work but um, it might take a few moments to master but after a while you'll get the hang of it whoops try not to open the app so remember home button first and then they should start wiggling if they're not wiggling then you've not done it right so tap in newsstand and press the home button and it will fly right in you can do this with all the apps that you want it can be a bit difficult there you go that flies in I'll just show you one more time home hold swipe in and then press the home button and then you'll be able to see after closing it and opening it again the apps are in here and you can open them they all work well this one doesn't work but um, you see the apps are opening just fine and if you don't want them in uh, in there anymore of course you can just drag them out but you can rearrange them in here which is good um, I haven't actually tried it with a folder yet I'm gonna see if a folder would work looks like folders do work I'm not sure if that would crash the system yeah it does so don't um, do that it'll crash it also um, if you want to get rid of them you can use the respring button that we created in the previous video so again click the screen now if you want to find out how to do that that will all that will do is reset um, the icons where they were before so I think that's what we just did here actually or oh, maybe I broke it. Hope not. Come on. There we go. I'll just enter my passcode. And you'll see after that, after respringing, we um, replaced all the icons where they were before. But it might be much easier if you create your own respring button, which will stay there even after powering on and off. So remember, click the screen now to watch the respringing video, or as I mentioned before, use the link in the description below. So thanks for watching, um, hopefully this helped you. Um, I'll have more iOS related videos coming very soon. Um, if you'd like to request anything, um, please feel free to do so. Um, I'll have, as I just mentioned, lots more videos. Um, lots of help videos and you can um, ask me any questions and I can reply to you or even cover it in the next video if you're lucky. So um, once again thanks for watching, hope this helped.